everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a luxury designer handbag video. We're taking it back to my roots. And in a recent video, it was a vintage Chanel handbag unboxing. If you happen to have missed it, I will link it right up here. You should totally watch it because, oh man, that bag was so good. I love it. But in that video, I definitely got some feedback that you really do enjoy handbag videos here and there. I mean, that's kind of why I started my channel. And so I had the, this idea for today's video, which is five out of style handbags that I own. And I, I don't want you to think that I am making this video to make you feel sad if you happen to own these bags, but that kind of is what makes it fun. Like, are, do, do you have this bag? I don't know, let's see. But then I'm also not making this video to tell you like, oh, I'm selling these bags because they're not the it bags and I need to make room for more in my collection. And I, I don't really want to have just like a rotating bag collection. I mean, if do what you wanna do, that is fine. If I just really never use something, then yeah, maybe I will sell it. But I'm not selling these bags because I love these bags. And that is the point of this video, that if you always just follow your heart, this sounds way too emotional and deep for a handbag video. But a lot of times everybody just jumps on like the latest it bag and you don't really like it. You kind of just like it because everyone else likes it. But these are bags that I genuinely think aren't really in style anymore. Um, but I still love. Now, some of these bags are definitely going to surprise you. In fact, some of these bags, you might be like, Shay, you are crazy. Those are classic bags. And I definitely have things from Chanel, Louis Vuitton, like just big names. Let's have a little drum roll, please, for the very first bag that is out of style. What could it be? I'm not sure, but it's the Chloe Nile. Yes, this one to me, Let's put it over here. <laughs> I'm sitting on this side for a reason. This one to me is, is kind of the no brainer. I mean, oh my gosh though, I still love it. I feel like I have talked this bag up for many years. It's like the bracelet bag and it's just, it's like a work of art. It doesn't hold that much. Do I care? No, I don't know what it is. I just really, really love this bag. I have it in like the biscotti color and it's just so beautiful. And I will say most of these bags that I am sharing today, I feel like 99% of the population and if they see you carrying this, they're not gonna even think twice about it. They're going to be like, wow, that is a nice bag. Will they even know it's designer? Probably not, let's be honest. Just take all of this with a grain of salt because at the end of the day, who the heck cares? This definitely was so popular when I got it. But the thing is, I didn't even love it when it was so so popular at first. I feel like a lot of other people loved it before me and I thought it was kind of weird. And then all of a sudden I just like, I just really became obsessed with it and I still love it. And I, I have seen others start to sell theirs off and I just don't want to. I just really like it and I still wear it. And I feel like it's one of those bags that I can wear it in the evening. I can wear it during the day. It's just really versatile, even though it's not that versatile because it doesn't hold that much, but I'm keeping it. Okay, so next we have a bag that's going to shock you. This is the bag that it's gonna keep you on your toes. You're gonna wanna keep watching this video because you're gonna think I'm insane and you're gonna be like, what the heck else is Shay gonna say because this makes no sense. And I'm gonna save the Louis Vuitton bag for the end. I'm just wanna keep you guys guessing like what could that be? But this one is Chanel and many would say is a classic, which is the Chanel Mini Rectangular. I have it in black lambskin and I've had it for a few years now. And the reason that I think it's a little out of style, and I, again, if you wear this bag, oh my goodness, you are not out of style. Like this is good, this is a good bag. But what I'm saying is this used to be like, you could not get your hands on this. Everyone wanted a mini rectangular. Everybody wanted a mini square bag. I mean, just the mini bags, they're still popular. But when it comes to Chanel, I feel like everyone wants the jumbo, the medium flap, like that. that. Um, everybody wants the, the trendy CCs. Like there's just so many Chanel bags that are way more sought after than the rectangular bag. And I don't really know why that is. It's just that's, that's just the truth. You used to not be able to buy this and now you can buy it if you really want it. I do absolutely love this bag. I probably don't wear it nearly as much as some of my other bags, but will I sell it? Heck no, I really love it. And it's such a good evening bag. It's such a good everyday bag. I mean, it's a good freaking bag. Number three, what could it be? What could it be? Drum roll again. It is the Lady Dior bag. Yes, the Christian Dior Lady Dior bag. And so this was created for 
Princess Diana. Um, so it was very popular years and years, decades ago. And then it was kind of, not, not really that big of a deal. And then all of a sudden, whoa, a few years ago, it blew up again. And I kind of feel like it's back down. It's back, the, the, the wave is back down. No one's really talking about this anymore, but I don't care. I still love it. I, I remember even when I unboxed this because I did get it pre-loved, I said I really wasn't planning on wearing this bag. I loved Princess Diana. This just, I just, I love the, the meaning behind this. I love just the way it looks. I feel like this is, this is one of those bags that to me is kind of just like a collector's piece, which I really am not a fan of that in my collection. I wanna be wearing all of my bags. Um, otherwise that is when I do sell them. But this is one that I don't really wear that often. Um, I, I honestly don't think it's very easy to get into the bag. I don't think it, it's just not like a user friendly bag, but I don't know. The justification for it with me is just that I, I like the history behind it and I just think it's beautiful. So it sits up there on the shelf and I don't really wear it much, but that is a-okay with me and it can come in and out of style. I don't care. I still love it. So this next one, I don't even wanna show you guys because everyone's gonna be like, I told you so Shay, I told you, I told you. Everyone's gonna be, very excited about this, but I, I still love it, okay? And it is my Balenciaga Ville bag. I don't know what it is. I realize it is copying Louis Vuitton's Alma. Heck, so many bags here are copying each other. I mean, literally designers copy each other nonstop. So I realize it's copying the Alma, but the Alma comes in weird shapes. This is like the perfect size. Like it really is the perfect size. You can like wear it in the crook of your arm. You can wear it crossbody. You can wear it over your shoulder. You can take off the strap. There's like a nice little outside pocket. There's a huge zipper and you can like really see in there. It's nice black and white, like it goes with everything. I just love this bag. It says Balenciaga, so I'm a walking billboard. I don't, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know why I love this bag so much, but I do. It's not really like in style anymore. Cardi B made it pretty popular. It, she probably doesn't even have it anymore. Definitely not in style as much as it was, but that is fine with me. I am keeping it and you'll continue to see me wear it. Okay, so we're on to number five. So this is the Louis Vuitton bag that's out of style. And it's the... Push it. Just kidding, it's not the Push it Matisse. It's not. People still really like this. I'm honestly surprised the longevity of this bag. So, good job. People really, yeah, they still want it. I have it, yay me. But what I think really is out of style, one moment, it's this hobo bag. <laughs> This Louis Vuitton delightful hobo bag. It's delightfully large. It's just, this is the very first bag I ever got and it's really out of style. <laughs> it is so out of style. Like it's okay, it's okay. I, my husband surprised me with it and I was just, I was tickled pink to get this bag. And honestly, it feels so darn good. Like the, the canvas is amazing. And when people say that the quality has declined, this bag makes me want to believe that because it is so gushy. It's so just nice, but really nobody's carrying like one art. Like it's just like, it's not, it's just weird the way it balances, like the one side is like in, the other side is out, and depending on what you have in it, it kind of like is lopsided. Big bags are definitely in, like they're, they're in. I'm not saying they're not, it's just like the hobo style, like just this this particular style. Um, but I'm never selling it. This this is my little, little my little baby. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. It was pretty simple to the point. Comment down below your thoughts, honestly. Uh, actually, I don't know, be nice. <laughs> but I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any other bags. I'm honestly curious. Let me know if there's any other bags that you think are just totally out of style. It'll be fun. And I will think of some other handbag video ideas that I could film. Comment below if you have any specific requests. And I will see you very soon in one of these videos. Bye.